There we go. Okay, we're we're video. Okay. All right. So uh, this video is for Mackenzie, so you can see um, kind of how to get out of a closed guard. Uh, well, not a closed guard, but a half guard. And the idea is on the half half guard. Now it kind of depends on what I was trying to ask you is what is this person doing? Because it for me it depends more on what this person is doing for what I'm going to do to get out of it, not really what I'm doing. Uh, so half guard. Let's say you grab here. Let's say you grab around me. This is typically, this is what I expect someone to do in a half guard is grab me to hold me down, right? Okay, now switch where you're gonna grab me down. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so from right here, if someone's grabbing up here, um, the first thing you really wanna do in a half guard, actually let go for a second. Really the first thing you wanna try and do in a half guard, um, don't get your hands underneath and get stuck under here. This is very bad. You don't want to grab them and be holding them like this. The reason why I say don't do that, yeah, you could do that. But the reason why I say don't do that is because you're kind of stuck. The hands that you need to be able to get out of something, you no longer can use. Does that make sense? So if this person was smart, in this position, he could choke. He could choke me from here. If you know, like, uh, do a clamp choke, what we call clamp. So bulldog choke, you do bulldog choke, and I'd be, now I'm trying to fight it, so do a bulldog choke. Now I'm trying to fight it. See, you see what I'm saying? Um, so instead of getting my hands under him like this and trying to get under hooks from this side, it's just, I don't think it's a good idea. I would rather have my hands here, right? Or go ahead and grab me first. So he's grabbing me, I don't want my hands under him. Right? If he's grabbing, no, no, go ahead. I just mean, I want my hands more here, outside, right? So you can underhook as long as you're not underneath them. That makes sense. So turn this one. Okay. So this kind of underhook is fine because his weight isn't, I don't want to underhook here where his weight is on me. So I'm here like this. Now the first thing you really want to do, okay, jump for a second. Okay. I'll go ahead and grab. If someone has you in a half guard with your feet, there's a couple of things you can do on the feet side, right? So I can, if I can get my hips up like this, I can slide and turn out, okay? Now, that only works if they're not grabbing you and holding you down. That's why I was asking, are they grabbing you and holding you down, or what are you doing? If you're up, then they, you can do that, okay? They cannot arm bar you from you being here and then being in this position. They can't arm bar you with their legs at all. They could possibly arm bar you with their arms, maybe, but not with their legs. So in this position, what I want to do is I want to put, here, turn this way. I want to put my head down. Now they might grab my head and tighten and grab and squeeze, and that's perfectly okay because what I want to do is drive my head into their chest as I come up and turn. You see what I'm doing? I'm coming up and driving my head into their chest. And I'm also okay to switch the switch like so you can see. Okay, so I'm here, he's grabbing me. Come up and I drive my head. I come a little bit lower, drive my head into his chest. I can also use this hand to slide out and now I can get mount position. Does that make sense? Okay, that's why I said it depends on what they're doing. If they're just standing there, that's fine. But like I said, you don't want to be here trying to grab them and try and do this while they're grabbing you, then if you're, if they're in a, go ahead, go ahead, if they're in a closed guard, because you're just stuck. This is just a stuck position. Neither person is winning right here. What you want to do is get to a mounted position. So if they're grabbing you now and they're holding you down, this is a little bit different now, okay? So what I want to do, because of how he's grabbing me, um, he's not grabbing under hook. Right now, we'll show you in under hook in a minute. But he's grabbing here, go ahead and tighten it. Yeah. So I want to use my shoulder, I want to drive still, but I'm going to drive into the ground here. Now I'm going to put my hand here, and I'm going to walk my toes up and sink my knee down. Okay, does that make sense? Then you're in a top mount position, and you can start, once you're in a mount position, then you can start to get out up here. But if he's got you, go ahead and grab my leg again. You know, yeah, and he's grabbing you nice and tight like this. Now he's underhooking me though, which is the same thing, really. 
So I want to lean my head down. I can even smash. I'm not going to be nice though. I'm not going to do it. But I can even smash with my shoulders into his head. I don't know if you can see that. But from here, I can smash with my shoulder into his head if I'm going to be mean. I'm not going to be mean. I'm just going to use my head and push down my head and use it as a... My head, I'm using kind of like a tripod. I'm pushing my, fork, my head into the ground. And then I'm going to come here, take this hand, I'm going to bring my hips up, slide my knee out and down. And then I'm in top mount. Go ahead and hold on to me. Now, once I'm in top mount, then it's no big deal. I can start to use my hands and pry, get my, my forearm in like this. Get it, yeah, a little <laughs> higher, yeah. And that'll help me be able to use my elbows and slide out of this move, and then I can start going for arm bar or whatever I want to go for. Right. Okay, so uh, so that is one kind of a basic way how you can get out of the the uh, uh, half guard. That's one way. There's a few other ways to do it, but actually, there's a lot of other ways to do it. But um, and there's a way to transition from the half guard to the top mount. So if you want me to do that, I can send you a video on that. But that's basic. That's a basic way to get out of it. If you have any questions about that, just actually you can send me a video of you doing it if you want. And because that will help me, then I can go, nope, do this, don't do that. So that's just up to you. All right. That's my video. Say bye to Brent. <laughs>